for a number of years we've recognised that we can provide a number of benefits to the greater China community, including Hong Kong, mainland China, and the businesses within and the entrepreneurs. But we haven't been able to establish that presence in, in the region. We're delighted now that we have Joanne Lee, and it means that people can have on-the-ground contact with Jersey effectively. Joanne can communicate messages back to the island, back to the service providers and effectively build those relationships on the ground. We've recently established our Hong Kong office and uh, our objective is actually just to promote uh, Jersey as an international finance centre. And my role basically is trying to raise the awareness of Jersey and to, to the gatekeepers as well as the financial providers over there in the region and also communicate to them the many factors and benefits of using Jersey as a jurisdiction and to promote Jersey as an international financial center. Xiaon Li is, a, is obviously native to the jurisdiction. Language skills are very important. Having a physical venue in which to sit and present and have access to um, the Jersey skill set and the products is extremely important in doing business in Asia. Hong Kong is a major financial center, a um, very large center in Asia. It's a conduit for a lot of international business into and out of China. Uh, there are almost 200,000 financial services professionals, so we believe by uh, having a physical presence there and a representative join Li, uh, that we'll get more effective engagement with the market. It's good to have somebody on the ground to know what the market is thinking, what clients are thinking, what we can do to uh, improve our service to them. So I'm acting as a bridge between Jersey as well as Hong Kong and China. It's a very important step we're taking now and I think Jersey Finance are very much going in the right direction about this by putting someone there on the ground. I don't think we can get any credibility by just making the odd visit to a region but not showing any commitment and I think what we're doing now is, is showing that commitment, showing that we want the business, we want to be there and we want to expand our offering in, in, in Hong Kong and Greater China. I can see obvious synergies having an office there on the ground already. Um, we can work with um, the Jersey Finance Office in assisting them with um, promotions, but at the same time I would hope that they can, um, they can work with us and, and help us on our promotional um, work in, in Greater China and, and Hong Kong. Um, and that we can really form a, a partnership to move forwards and, and to, to put Jersey on the map. A lot of Chinese companies and Hong Kong companies are actually coming out to Europe as well as the UK and Jersey uh, as an international, offshore international centre is well positioned in this respect, especially in relationship with the uh, UK as well as uh, uh, Europe. If you're looking for Western capital or you're looking to acquire businesses in the West, then the Chinese client will prefer something that's within that, that location and geography. The Jersey corporate product is highly respected by the city in that it equates to a UK PLC. Its shares can be traded electronically through Crest, unlike Bermuda, Cayman and BVI who cannot. We know very much that our offering is already good, but what we've got to we'll continue to work on is our understanding of the culture and their needs. and requirements and that's where Joanne and the representative office really comes into frame. Joanne will be reporting back to us regularly, giving us feedback directly from our clients in the region and our potential clients saying what they need from Jersey and that could be anything from um, more adaptability to the time zone, it could be more language skills within the island or it could be something that we haven't even thought of and hopefully over the next few years we'll be in a position where we absolutely service in those clients and those businesses to the best of our ability. I think one of the challenges obviously is always going to be cultural, especially with Greater China and uh, I think one of the benefits that we'll obviously have with, again with the office in Hong Kong and, and, and with having someone who is, who is culturally aware of the differences and what we ought or not to be doing. Some of the products we offer like trust, while it is very well known actually in Hong Kong, the Chinese clients are not very familiar with this concept as well. The concept in China about trust is totally different from what we have it here. So it needs a lot of education and it takes time. The method of doing business in, in, in China and Hong Kong is not akin to the way business is done in, in the West. You have to learn it and it takes time. Having the office there and a manager who is uh, 
you know, well connected and understands the language and the culture it is, is, is the best possible opportunity for a business person wanting to attract Chinese client business. The advent of our entry to the Hong Kong Stock Exchange will mean, I think, that Jersey companies will become accepted for listing purposes in Asia. Uh, I think that will help our market profile, so company formation will become a, a, an important activity. Um, we, I think, provide a, an important conduit opportunity for uh, Hong Kong to uh, channel uh, Chinese capital into the European market. Jersey holding companies are respected around the world. They're fully listable on the UK and European exchanges with no additional due diligence requirements. So I think in the corporate market, the listings market, there's great scope for cooperation between the two centres. We're a sophisticated financial centre, very much like Hong Kong, except we're based in Europe, so they can access European capital. And the benefits, obviously, China and Hong Kong and the rest of the region offer us is a huge growing economy, you know, over one billion people with a vast amount of entrepreneurs, high net worth individuals and very successful businesses. And we want to partnership with them and grow in those businesses. Eventually, China being so important in the future of the world economies um, will probably necessitate most businesses of any size actually to open up an office there. And the Hong Kong office of Jersey Finance could be a helpful springboard. I think it will be very, very beneficial for Jersey companies to actually go into that market and offer what, uh, our expertise and experience to the market. I think it's mutually beneficial for the clients over there as well as the members over here. Greater China is crucial to, uh, I think, the future of the world economy. Um, it, it is an enormous nation, you know, it's a populous nation, a billion people, or rather, rather north of a billion people. It's growing economically at an, an amazing rate. Uh, even through the um, global economic slowdown, it's still sustained growth above trend norms for other countries. Uh, and it will continue to do that. In the BRIC research done by Goldman Sachs, Jim O'Neill, they predicted it would become the second largest economy in the world by 2050. It's probably going to arrive in that place 20 years early. Uh, so it's an economy that, uh, that is so uh, large, uh, will diversify, will internationalise, it's too big for Jersey not to be involved with. With our recent glowing praise from the IMF report, um, we clearly have the regulatory standards. We have a fantastic court known as the Royal Court, which is used, the precedents are used globally. And um, we also have over 13,000 finance professionals enabling us to service those individuals. So the Chinese are very committed to sound regulation uh, and subscribe to the IMF um, uh, financial sector assessment program as do we and I think it's fantastic news for Jersey that our recent IMF assessment demonstrates that we're one of the leading jurisdictions in the world uh, in terms of meeting international standards and I believe that will uh, uh, serve us extremely well in our relationship with China. To be involved in the future economies of the world and for Jersey to maintain its paramount position, it needs to be able to allow its business, financial services and others to participate in that future. Opening up the office is one of the most important things that the finance industry has undertaken on a collective basis and that should be a springboard for the businesses that are in Jersey to succeed for the future. We're in there for the long haul. This isn't just some sort of fancy fad that we're, we're coming and going. Um, we are showing that commitment and, and we want to, to increase the levels of business that we get out of the region going forwards over you know, a, a long period of time. Jersey and China actually have a lot in common. We each have a respect for tradition, for history, for our heritage. We're both committed to uh, stable economies, we're both committed to internationalisation and we're both committed to good governance and sound regulation. So we, we have a great deal in common in fact. Uh, Jersey is a specialist finance centre, we deal in international uh, capital flows. China wants to internationalise, it wants to access international opportunities. So there is a great uh, opportunity for a, a meaningful and a productive partnership for both countries.